Diana Denmark here. I am back with another very easy recipe for you. Today I'm, I'm going to be showing you a recipe for a shortbread and it's, it's like a basic shortbread recipe which is normally one, two, three, like one part of sugar, two parts of your fat, uh, butter and three parts of flour. This one is a bit Christmassy. Oh, hold on, I think somebody wants to get in the kitchen. Yeah, I was saying uh, one, two, three. So you've got one, one part sugar, two parts uh, butter, and, and use butter for this. Using margarine will not give you the same effect. You really want the crunch that that will give you along with the, with the sugar. Uh, and it'll make it very short. And uh, three parts flour, just basic plain flour, not self-raising, just bog standard flour. But anyway, I've washed my hands. I'm getting my pinny on and feel free to bake along or uh, carry on with your decluttering, whatever you're doing. I really like this recipe. It, it, it's very simple. I've adapted it slightly from a recipe uh, that I got from Pam, who knows, uh, you know, Fly Lady, uh, Marla and Nikki. And I've kind of adapted it and she got the uh, recipe from the Joy of Cooking, I think, website. I'll, I'll put a link. Now, the reason I like this recipe is that you can make it up anytime you like, make up the, the dough, and then you can freeze it, put it in your freezer, and then when you've got guests coming or you want to make a little um, clutter-free gift uh, you know, for Christmas, you just take out the dough from the freezer, slice it very th thinly, and then pop it in the oven to bake and bop your uncle. And you know me, I love these kind of things that we can do in advance. We just feel like we're a little bit more in control and you feel like you've kind of baked and you've got that good feeling without all the hassle that's involved. Now, normally I make it in my kitchen food processor, but if you saw when I was doing the, um, the cheese shortbread the other day, I've, I've got a new food processor now and it can't take the same amount of um, you know, flour and sugar. So I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to try making it just in the mixing bowl. We'll see how we get on. Um, in for a penny, in for a pound. You know, if you, if you don't try these things, you'll never find out. So that I'm going to make it here today. And as I said, it's very simple. You've got one part sugar, two parts uh, good old Danish butter, and three parts flour. And I'll put, I'll put the amounts below, so don't worry about that. And we're adding also cranberries, which I've just chopped up a wee bit, and pistachios. Now, I hate shelling pistachios. Just when I think about it, I think, oh, can't be bothered. So I've actually just had, I sat down here with a cup of coffee. Let me just put it in the dishwasher. And I listened to a couple of songs on the radio, and I just got on with it. I've got it done. I've chopped them up slightly. Uh, the pistachios because obviously they're not going to the food processor, they're just going into the mixing bowl this time. So anyway, let's get on with it. As I said, yeah, I've washed my hands, got the penny on, and I'm going to put in the uh, sugar. And what was it? Uh, let me think. It, it was two thirds of, a, you know, granulated white sugar, two thirds of a cup. And then the butter is two American sticks of butter, or 225 grams. So I'm just eyeballing it here, just cutting up the butter a wee bit. Oh, hold on, let me put down. You will have to excuse me for not being a professional YouTuber and having cameras and, you know, fancy cameras and iPods. But you know what we are doing? these things together and I'm just like you. This is my kitchen. This is my life. Yeah, anyway, I'm putting in the butter. As I said, that was two sticks of butter. I make sure you use butter, not, not margarine. I mean, I mean, if you really want to use margarine, but it's not, it's not going to taste the same. Right, okay. And then I'm just going to start that whizzing. And if it's too noisy, I'll, sw I'll stop filming and um, come back to you. Let me put on my wee. Oh. Right, let's lay a rip. Tell you what, it's 
going to be a bit noisy. I'll, I'll start fil filming again once that is mixed in. Right, so the butter and sugar are mixed together. Please tell me not to buy one of these mixers again because I almost lost half the sugar <laughs> when it started up. Anyway, it's all back in now. Uh, and then we're going to add two and a third cups of flour and mix again. So cover your ears or let me just stop filming. Right, so now we've got in the sugar, the butter, the flour, and the last kind of main ingredient is, uh, if you've got vanilla extract, use a bit of that. I've got some vanilla powder here, I'm going to add it. And then, as I said, either you, you can just use it as a kind of shortbread recipe, or you can add in the extra kind of Christmassy things. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, Instead of using the mixer, I'm just going to do the last part with my hands. So I'm going to put in that um, one cup of cranberries. And as I said to you, I, I chopped them up. If you want to know what they're called in Danish, they're called tannebeer. And he says su or lekker, which means uh, sweet and uh, Lekker means uh, you go nice or good or right tasty. Right, those are in, and then the pistachios. And the original recipe said to add in a wee bit of salt, but I always buy the pistachios which are in their shell that have got salt on them, so I'm not adding any extra salt because normally I feel like that's that's enough salt. But you know you can. You can taste the, the dough and see what you think. Mmm, it looks good. Here we go. But I have to say it's it's much easier to make it in the, the food processor, but hey ho. Right, give them that wee mix to start with and then I'll get in there with my hands. And this is what I was trying to avoid. I hate you know that rubbing in my food and I will do anything to avoid it, but hey, I'm doing it with you here. And actually that thing about doing things together, it, it, I don't know if you're, uh, you're following me on Instagram, but it's really interesting to see that when you start posting your pictures, it makes us so much more accountable. You know, there was somebody in, you know, if you use the hashtag Diane in Denmark, you can see what the others are posting and you can post things. And somebody, you know, just yesterday said that, oh, they were doing their evening routine and, you know, about to do the picture of their shiny sink and then decided that, oh, actually, besides the sink, it, it also needed done and they haven't done it yet and, but just because they were in the group it just made them feel accountable and they got on and did it yeah and I'm doing the same here I hate <laughs> I hate mixing with my hands I don't know why I'm just kind of um, yeah I don't know maybe I should do it with um, you know you can get those plastic gloves Right, okay, it's beginning to come together now. As I said, it's much easier if you just use the food processor, but there we go. Oh, where's my spatula? And the aim of this is we're, we're going to mix it and we're going to shape it into to logs. Let me see. Tell you what. But let me get out my baking paper so I can start making a log. And I wrote on my shopping list on my errand day list that we're beginning to run a bit low on baking paper. I do not want to be running out of baking paper um, you know on Christmas Eve or whatever so okay just going to take mixture and yes it is a bit crumbly but that's uh, that's shortbread for you And what I normally do with this mixture is I normally put it into like three or four uh, little loaves. 
and just shape it. And it's going to go in the fridge or the freezer to harden up. So, so don't worry at this stage if it's a bit crumbly. But you see when you go like that, the, the, the butter will help to stick it together. Okay, I think this is probably big enough for, for one loaf. And the recipe, the original recipe said to uh, make them into little logs like this so when they come out, they come out uh, rectangular shaped and, and that looks quite nice. But uh, you can see it is studded with the cranberries and the pistachios. Okay, that will do for one. And what I'll do is I'm going to put this into the uh, freezer so that I can get it uh, chilled. And then I can show you how I slice it uh, into very thin slices and bake it. And while that is in the um, freezer, I'm going to make the other logs and just pop them in the freezer and keep them for Christmas. So I shall see you in about two seconds. Right, so here are the extra two logs which I've just kind of shaped and pushed together. And those are going into the fridge. Uh, sorry, the freezer. And meanwhile, I shall do a poopa. And if you don't know what a poopa is, that's a pick up and put away. So all the things that I've been using to make these logs are going to be washed up or going to the dishwasher. And um, anyway, let, let's get these into the freezer and then I can take out the one which is uh, frozen, slice it up and let's get them cooked. Right, we're into the home stretch. I've taken one out uh, of the freezer. It could have done with a wee bit longer, but I, I don't know if you can see it is now uh, getting dark here in Copenhagen and I am uh, heading out the door soon. So I just want to get them baked up so you can see the final result. Anyway, the oven, I've got the fan going as you can hear. Uh, the oven temperature will be 160 Celsius, which is 325 Fahrenheit. Um, but anyway, here's a wee look, that's what it looks like inside and as I said you want to get them as sliced as thinly as possible so that they come out nice and uh, crunchy. I'll just do another couple. There we are. Right, hold on, let's have a wee look, looky looky. So those are going in the oven now and um, let's see them when they're all baked. Okay, I'll get them in the oven. And here they are in the oven after 10 minutes. I've just turned them round and I'll check again after another five minutes. Okay, they're out of the oven. They took about uh, 18 minutes. I'll just show you what they look like. They're just getting pale golden around the sides. Don't leave them in for too long because they will burn and you don't want, you know, you don't want burnt shortbread. I've put a couple on the side here. Uh, you you want to let them cool down before you dive into them. Um, when they cool down, they'll be much more crunchy. So just let them be if you can. I've got some here on a wire rack just so that I can let you see them up close. Right, I'm going to try one. They're still hot, but anyway, here we go. I need to get going. You can see it, it's dark outside now. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I haven't made these since last Christmas and I forgot how good they taste. The cranberry just gives it that extra bit of sweetness and then you've got the crunchy pistachio. They look really pretty. Mmm. Okay, I'm going to let the rest of these cool. In fact, I might take a few of them with me where I'm going. <laughs> Put them in a wee box. Uh, anyway, I hope you'll, hope you'll try them. They're really easy to make. Uh, and if you haven't tried the 15 minute rolls, you know, the 15 minute bread rolls, go and do that. I know a lot of you have tried them and saw how easy it was. And they're, you know me, I, I always do easy things, uh, easy things that taste good. Anyway, I, I shall put a link to the rolls up there to the left. I'm going to finish eating my uh, little Christmassy biscuit, getting into the spirit of things, and I shall see you very soon. Right, Diane in Denmark, signing off from the kitchen in Copenhagen. See you very soon. Live long and prosper. And crunch. <laughs>